Hey everyone, welcome back to our homestead. And uh, we're out here just now. My son and I just got done chopping some wood out back, uh, getting ready for Thanksgiving week. Uh, I'm excited about some family coming in and just excited about everything in general. It's amazing. We moved here about a year ago and all the things that we accomplished in a year. Which brings me to this episode, chicken or duck? <laughs> One thing we can all agree on, everybody's homestead is different. We have different challenges, we have different layouts, we have different animals, different varieties. Some people have, you know, cows and for milk, and some people have goats for milk. One animal tends to be the typical animal that every farm tends to have, and that is chickens. Now, if you've watched our videos for any length of time, you know that I am a definite supporter of chickens. Um, they do a great job for you. And if you've seen many of our episodes, you've seen how we've utilized them. They definitely are little workers for you. They uh, turn your compost pile. They actually till up your land for you. Um, you can move them and rotate them to fertilize your ground, till up your ground, aerate your ground. Uh, they're great little, great little helpers. They truly are. They'll really do a good job at helping you uh, work your garden. However, as many animals, if you left your those chickens unattended in your garden, they'll end up wrecking shop. Mmm, delicious. If it's used correctly, they can be used as a wonderful tool. So we've had chickens in the past. Uh, our previous home, we had some chickens. My wife got into uh, uh, raising a few meat birds and had a few uh, chickens uh, for laying eggs. And in fact, some of the houses we have out there right now are actually from that place. I was actually going to leave them, and my wife uh, wanted to bring them. She said, I want to bring them because you never know what we could use them for. And at that time, we did not think that we would actually be homesteading. But here we are a year later, and we are farther than my wife ever would have dreamed. Why ducks? Here's our take. This is what we have observed about ducks. Number one, maintenance. Ducks are very clean animals. They tend to be, uh, uh, they handle the cold much better. They handle the heat much better. So as long as you provide them some type of water that are, you know, like we do, we put a little pool out there and we give them water um, at least once a week. Uh, we do it daily at right this time right now. We constantly are cycling their water in and out just because they love their water. And with that water, they wash themselves. They're able to, uh, they're not prone to get mites on like dust bath, like, like chickens will take dust baths, they'll get mites, which also makes them more prone to parasites and bugs, especially if, you know, depending on how you care for your animals. Um, so ducks are much more easily maintenance when it comes to their general health. We added, we added the khaki Campbells for the eggs. They lay eggs about 360 days of the year. I have made some special places for them to lay eggs. I built a little uh, corner spots for them. They put hay in there and sometimes they lay in there and sometimes they lay wherever they want to. So it's always a gamble of where, the, where those eggs are gonna, you're gonna be finding eggs every day. You know, duck eggs tend to be more oval shape than chicken eggs. Chicken eggs tend to be round, but they, you know, the duck eggs are tend to be known, also known to be healthier and also known to have a longer shelf life than chicken eggs as well. Garden patrol. So, like chickens, chickens will actually till up your ground. You put them in an area and they'll actually till up your ground and prep a garden area for you. Whereas ducks cannot do that. Well, for obvious reasons. They have webbed feet. Ducks forage where chickens actually till up the ground. However, one thing that we did experiment with this year, we had a pretty bad caterpillar uh, run through and we'll probably, we will make some changes next year to help us fight more combat a little bit better. But we did try an experiment that we heard about and we gave it a shot. And what we did was we allowed our ducks to go into um, the uh, garden and we watched them actually go after the caterpillars. However, once the caterpillars did run out, 
uh, take it, started to chop at our, our vegetables. So again, with any tool you have, you want to manage that and look over, see that, but they're great helpers. They definitely do help to reduce uh, the workload. Ducks tend to be friendlier. If you ever have introduced chickens to the flock, the best way to do it is at nighttime. You've seen us do it before we go out at night. When we bring new chickens in, we go out at night when they're all sleeping, and then we enter, put them in there, and the next day they come out, and it tends to uh, be a very smooth transition. However, there is always a pecking order. Um, you know, chickens tend to be like, you know, they tend to find their, who's going to rule the roost, if you will. Whereas ducks tend to be a lot friendlier. They hey, are very welcoming it, and open up? to new Jazz, friends. Um, hey, but with that, up? you know, the ducks are much friendlier, much easier to move. Um, I let, this past year, uh, we would move our ducks all the way out back with our with our meat birds. They would move with them. And um, one trick we would do is when I wanted to bring the ducks up to the garden, I would actually walk the ducks up from the garden from behind them with my arms wide open and direct them in there and that doing that trick was very easy you know if you ever done chickens they just go wherever they scatter they just they're, they're not you don't just it's not they're not easily directed whereas ducks they they move it's, it's they move together they they as long as you don't try to move them too quickly they definitely move really well together and they're very easily to manage But we also added meat ducks this year. Um, so we have, you know, four four meat ducks, uh, two males, two females, and um, we will be utilizing them this year and uh, raise up some more meat ducks that we will use for uh, um, use for meat for the home. Um, about February, we'll be uh, looking to uh, get some of their uh, their eggs in the incubator and start hatching those eggs out and uh, raising some of our own meat here at the so taste. Let me tell you, back a while back, my mom, she smoked uh, some chicken and duck for us. And let me tell you, if I was going to pick, I would definitely pick duck. Duck has a nice uh, fatty or it seems to be more savory meat. Uh, to me, it reminded me of turkey. Tender? Super tender. That's not bad, daughter. Really oh, not. man. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that tenderness. Could I turkey? And with Thanksgiving coming around the corner, I ain't gonna lie, I would love to add some duck to that plat platter. I know a lot of people use it, the, the duck fat as well to cook with. That is our take, and I hope it was helpful. Um, yeah, I don't wanna say, you know, as one or the other. Truthfully, you have to look at your scenario, your layout, and think this would be best for me. One thing I'll say is that they do require a lot of water. It is a lot of water, they drink a lot of water. And on that same note, Ducks are disgusting drinkers. Imagine, if you will, 50 infants drinking out of your cup, drinking out of your straw, going around my house. If I have a cup, I don't put a straw in it. <laughs> Other than that, I hope this was helpful. If you made it this far, I thank you for enjo joining us. Again, we enjoy making these videos. We love documenting our journey, our adventures as a family, and we'll continue to make these, and I hope that they will be a blessing to you. Make you either make you smile, or even possibly help you learn something. Some exciting things coming up ahead. Um, you know, cheap projects. You know, like I said, I, we're not a wealthy, extremely wealthy family, but um, we definitely are a resourceful family, and we work. And, and I think that it, that speaks for a majority of homesteaders is that we learn to be resourceful. I'm grateful that you joined us this far. Thank you for watching. We'll see you right back here in the next adventure. Take care.